Hello everyone, this is James Pyle from the Vacuum Doctor in Mesquite, Texas, where you send them, we mend them. Today I'm just doing a little video, tell a little bit about how we do our reviews for our YouTube channel and for VacuumWizard.com. So you'll notice here I have three different particles on this rug. These are particles that we use for our suction and cleaning tests. Then we also have three meters here that we use to measure various things on the vacuum cleaner. So the first thing we use is flour. This is a fine particle test which simulates uh, fine dust and other real fine particles in your home. This is actually one of the hardest things for your vacuum to pick up uh, flour and so this is a really good indication of how good of a vacuum cleaner the vacuum is. The second thing that we use is a product that's called Fragrant Scent which is a granular scent product used for the vacuum bag actually but it's a very good product uh, for doing a large particle suction test so we use this to tell how well the vacuum picks up large things such as dirt clumps, Cheerios, uh, things of that nature. Also before we do the suction portion of this test we'll do a vibration test using the same product. We just put the vacuum up to the product and turn it on and this will create vibration and hopefully you'll see the product bouncing up and down. The more that it vibrates and bounces the better vibration the vacuum cleaner has. Now why this is important and something you don't see in most reviews is this tells you how well the vacuum breaks dirt out of your carpet, out of your padding, and vibrates it to the surface. So this is a very good indication of how well the vacuum will actually deep clean your carpet. The third and final thing that we use is a product called KPOC, which is a fake pet hair product. Now this is not exactly like pet hair or pet fur, but it's the closest thing you can get on the market uh, for vacuum testing. And what we do is rub this into the carpet and uh, get it all mixed in real good. Then we'll go over it with the vacuum. And this will be a pretty good indicator of how well the vacuum will work on animal hair. So then we move on to our meter test. You'll notice we have three of them here. The first one that we do is a noise meter. This is a sound level meter. This measures the decibel of noise, uh, or noise in decibels I should say that the vacuum cleaner produces. We stand behind the machine and we hold this about uh, chest level and this is a pretty good indicator of what type of noise you'll hear as you're using the vacuum cleaner. And now a good level to go off of or a good uh, mid-level range I guess just to say is about 80. Anything over 80 is getting to be pretty loud so if you have real sensitive ears you wouldn't want to use a vacuum cleaner that's over 80. Our right, next meter is the water gauge. This is used for measuring the suction of a vacuum cleaner in water inches. And so uh, again, 80 is a good level uh, to kind of go off of to compare all the vacuum cleaners. Anything 80 or above is actually pretty good. So once you go below 80, you start to get a pretty significant decrease in suction. The third and final thing that we use is an airborne particle counter. And this device is used to measure particles coming out of the filtration system on the vacuum. And this is also one of the most important things that we review. A lot of people have uh, health issues, breathing issues, asthma, things like that, and they need a good filtration machine. Now, one of the most important things to know about this meter, a lot of reviews may not mention it or, or don't do it properly, is the first thing you go, you're going to want to do is measure the particles in the air of the room you're doing the review. If you notice right now, the particle meter is reading about 250,000. And so if I review a vacuum cleaner and it comes back at about 250,000, it's only putting out the same amount of particles it's taken in. Now that's not very good filtration, uh, but it, it could be worse. You know, if, if my room started out with 500,000 and the vacuum put out 250, well, it's cut the particles in half. So that's actually good, while it may not sound good. So it's important that the reviewer is aware of uh, how to use this unit and uh, does it properly. So that's pretty much the gist of our basic review uh, that we do on our vacuum cleaners. We'll also take a look at the tools and the components that the vacuum uses and I personally will go into some other things like durability, uh, service after the sale, things of that nature. Something you don't get very often in other reviews uh, even consumer reports you'll often find products that are rated very high but they don't mention how well built the machine is. Unfortunately in this day and age there's a lot of products that are built in China, Malaysia, 
you know, other places that uh, are not necessarily good products. Now, that's not to say there aren't some good ones that are built overseas, uh, but you just have to take that all into consideration when you're looking at a review. So we try to do that. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that gives you a good understanding of how we do our reviews. And I hope that you'll check out our reviews either on VacuumWizard.com or on our YouTube channel or their YouTube channel. That's all for today. Please subscribe and like, and God bless.